Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Man Always Joe's Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bible and Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. As you know, it has been like about a ooh, couple of weeks since the Olympia weekend. And, you know, with this uh, an issue that I still have with what with, 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 with down, what's happening, what's going on with, with, with women in bodybuilding, especially monetary wise. As you know, they announced a, a record prize money uh, for this year's Olympia. It was like 16, no, no, it was like uh, $1.6 million. And I was thinking, well, it may boost the sport a little bit, especially women's division. But what it did was because they were adding a new division in wellness, they um, gave them prize money because they're the new division, plus up the prize money on the other divisions, for except for, um, you know, Miss Olympia. You know, it's, you know, it's last year, this is where, um, you know, Andrew Shaw got $50,000, second place got, you know, $20,000. And it didn't up the prize money. And, you know, the... The men's, we know men's bodybuilding, you know, Mr. Olympia is, is a top show. Uh, Big Rami still walked away with a check for nearly half a million dollars. But it's just not fair that uh, someone like Andrew Shaw, who works just as hard, is just committing compassion about the sport, don't get the money. And, and female bodybuilding has been around for years. It's not like it's a, a practically new sport. You know, it's, it's, it evolved from the days of Richard McLish to the likes of, um, you know, uh, you know, Sandra Riddell and, you know, and Beth Francis and Corey Everson and to the women who are competing today, you know, and still they're not as, you know, getting the fair shake when it comes down to money. Now, the thing is, what we want to do is I'm having my uh, Sunday discuss, discussion. We talk about what can women do to be more profitable in a sport of bodybuilding. And, you know, they work just as hard as the men. You know, they train just as hard. They follow all the guidelines. You know, everything. They do all the stuff that their guys do because they have a passion and love for this sport. But the thing is, it's more expensive for female bodybuilders. I said this before. The cost of a posing suit. You know, they got to get tanned and, and prepared in the back. Hair and makeup. Travel expenses. Food. I mean, prepping for the food. Then, you know, supplements and other uh, stuff they need for training. And don't forget, the workout times, they have to pay for gym time. They get paid their trainers. And at the end of it, you know, even when they get a show, and didn't, if any of them get the top money, you know, some of them, they may not, especially if, it's, you know, they may be just going in um, pretty much empty pockets, you know. And while the guys, all they got to do is put on some tan oil and banana hammock, they go on stage, the women have to really do a lot more, but still don't get barely what they deserve to get. I'm not, you know, and also you got to think about affecting other things such as medical stuff. You know, they have to always get checked up with the doctors. Also stuff, for, especially for women, because they want to be seen more feminine. They have to go get, you know, some, um, you know, aesthetic stuff done, you know, like, you know, breast implants. And also, I've heard ladies have had to get their breasts redone or fixed because of, of issues. And, you know, also, you know, as you know, um, uh, Andrew Shaw, who just won her second car. And you still got to pay taxes on that car. You know, that's expensive. You got to pay taxes on a car. And the ladies after shows who don't get into money um, money prize, they do what, we, what I call the Beat the Meat websites. They take photos, do photo sessions to make ends meet. I mean, I think the I think one lady says it's like three to four hundred to five hundred dollars an hour to do a photo session. And some, you know, are trainers and for other people and help them to get ready. And that's the way they make money also. And then ladies do alternative stuff, such as they do um, what we call fight and wrestling videos and you know that's the way to make money i mean this is my favorite vicky gates and they also um do these things with, with men also and they're also guys who pay for what you call in-person sessions but with things going now not in-person sessions get difficult to do so that's why you see more women doing um online video uh, sessions and you know there's sites like i said that do the um the video sessions, in which we photo the video sessions that pay these ladies, and like I said, their fan base is also there's a, a grown women who do uh, adult industry stuff, you know, and uh, not for everybody, not everybody wants to go that level of uh, doing um, hardcore porn, and like I said, the ladies fan base is mostly men. You know, it's the guys who buy the videos, who who, uh, who go to the shows. You know, the the, the, the fan base of, of women is mostly the male fan base. And the thing is, they still don't make as much money compared to their male counterparts. 
You know, even the fetish shit, it's it's difficult. So what are we gonna do? There's options. options like um some um are doing like comic cons and um dress up in uh, cos cosplay to make a little uh, money for themselves. Um, some if they're lucky who have talent and skill are acting. You know, like Corey Everson, my dear, uh, dear lady who I'm a fan of Miss Sue Price. I mean Rick McLesh. You know, acting is a great way to make some money, but you know, like I said, Hollywood is not as acceptable to the idea of women with muscle. You know, there is, is very rarely used for female bodybuilders in, um, like I say, certain movies, like action movies, stuff like that. And, you know, but it's an opportunity where they can probably make money if someone gives them a the chance. The thing is, these women work hard and they want to be just they want at least I'm not saying that she paid as much as the men, but enough where it's it's worth their while and their time. It doesn't have to dip dip so much in their pockets and they have something to show for it at the end of the day. So like I can say we're going to have my our Sunday discussion. I invited some ladies. Oh, it's going to be this Sunday, you know, Halloween Sunday. <laughs> or oh, it's saying I live in. We don't celebrate Halloween on Sundays. We celebrate on Saturdays. And um, we're going to talk about what can be done to make, you know, bodybuilding profitable for women or what women can find a way to make profits for themselves outside of the sport. There's so much that can be done. And uh, I think people have to be open minded to the idea with women and muscle. Um, I'm going to leave the link for the um, uh, upcoming discussion. If you want to come by, you know, chat, ask questions, give your thoughts and opinions, what needs to be done. This is, I'm like, I love doing my, uh, my Sunday discussions because I love to talk to the ladies because I want to get their ideas and their viewpoints because we want people to realize that these women are not just big hulking women who are just out here just to lift weights, take stories, whatever. They are athletes and they want to get paid like any athlete. You know, it, especially, in, uh, as you t- we talk about, if you follow me, we t- I talk to some black one of my man, Coach Sutter Harrison, we talk about how MMA, the women don't get paid as much as their male counterparts. Pretty much just MMA in general don't get paid much compared to boxing. But female bodybuilders, they've been around for quite some time and they want to be not just recognized for their commitment, their passion for the sport, but also they want to get paid. So like I said, uh, it's going to be one o'clock on Sunday. I will leave the link in the description. Come by, you know, you know, uh, you know, share this uh, video that I post. Um, you will ask these questions of what they think or give also some advice of what they should do. I mean, it's, it's appreciated because we really want if you're about to be able to grow and these ladies to get, at least get something out of it for what they put into it. It's me all the way George Page, a.k.a. the emperor of female body talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.